If you got beauty, beauty, just raise them up Cause every inch of you is perfect from the bottom to the top before we get started today, I wanted to say thank you very much to the Washington Association of Mortgage Professionals. The RE Source was recently given an award for outstanding media. This is very, very cool and we greatly appreciate it. These guys put on an awesome event in an, in an industry that's very, very difficult right now. It was awesome to sit down with like-minded professionals and celebrate it for a change. Also, thank you very much to RC, who's one of the most talented young minds in the industry right now. He has been there for me since day one and together we've been able to create and deliver the RE Source to you guys every Every Monday for almost five years now. Pretty crazy. He's an awesome man, business partner. If you know him, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Thank you very much, buddy. As I said earlier, this industry is tough right now. Realtors and lenders aren't really loving it, and I totally get why. It's not just rookies either. Veteran agents, veteran lenders are losing their passion for the industry, and it actually makes a lot of sense considering current and past events. So let's talk about that for a second. If you guys know me, you know that I'm a bit of a contrarian. Always trying to do things slightly different from the rest of the pack, which is why this post caught my eye. It was called the negative path to happiness and success. What the what? It was link bait. I just had to click on it. So what you'll find is a video from Oliver Berkman who wrote a book called The Antidote, Happiness for People Who Can't Stand Positive Thinking, which looks at the upside of uncertainty, failure, and imperfection, and exploring unconventional approaches. Uncertainty, failure, unconventional approaches? Yep, sounds like a real estate or lending office on a Monday morning. Pretty timely message for all of us right now, and it's actually pretty funny and has a very unique message. Oliver hits on goal setting, which is huge for our industry and really for any industry, but he hits on it from a different angle. If you're a realtor, you may set a goal to sell, hmm, I don't know, 100 homes a year. Or if you're a lender, maybe you wanna close five to 10 deals a month. Now for me, I've never been a subscriber to this thought process or goal setting approach. Goals and accountability to goals are great and very, very important keys to success, but I kinda tweak this approach to set behavioral daily, weekly, and monthly goals. Be accountable to these action items and behavioral goals at a micro level and when you look up at the end of the year, you may just find yourself shattering those number goals that you had in your head. For instance, you may have been thinking about selling, say, 80 homes this year, but because you committed to the daily, weekly, and monthly behavioral goals and your mind was committed to the why and how versus just hitting the number every month, the end result was 100 homes versus the 80 homes that you originally had in your head. Anyways, that's been my approach and we've had some pretty good success from it. In Oliver's video, there's several great nuggets for us in there, but here's just one that proves my point. On rainy days in, in New York, uh, it's not just that the demand for cabs increases, but the supply diminishes too because taxi drivers go home sooner in the, earlier in the day uh, because they've already met their self-imposed income goal for the day because they meet it faster. So you get this very sort of ironic and irrational outcome where they miss out on some of the easiest income they could earn and the people who would like to get a cab are getting drenched on a street corner trying to install uh, Uber for the first time into their, <laughs> into their uh, smartphones. Oliver goes on to talk about goals from a different angle and it's really good and super challenging, especially if you're a leader of people. Now, I don't want to give away the secret, you're just going to have to watch it yourself and see. It's really interesting and will challenge conventional wisdom. I will tell you, one of the reasons I liked this was the approach at embracing change and uncertainty and failure. It's not always about the raw, raw and blind positivity. Sometimes you have to grind and adapt and embrace the chaos that is this market. And you guys know exactly what I'm talking about too. This is why we need to hear this today. It's about 20 minutes long and don't shortchange yourself either. If you don't have time right now to watch it, put a reminder in your phone to watch it later and then share it with your teams and challenge yourself and those around you to think differently and embrace the hustle, grind, and chaos that is this industry. I hope you do and we would love to hear your feedback on the matter down below. What's your approach? How are you thriving in this market? Are number goals working for you? Anyone else committed to the behavioral goals too? If so, how's that working for you? Let us know down below and we will see you next week. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, 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 bass.